Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a really close look at RetroSense, which is uh, the new synth that's actually available in Logic Pro X. Let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, so I already have one instantiated and right now we're looking at RetroSense. So it has a really cool design. I love the LEDs. Um, I love the knobs, kind of reminds me of a uh, old Moog or something like that. And we actually have four synths actually built in on here. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the default sounds. Uh, right here we have our analog. Go ahead and move two octaves, two octaves down. And let's go ahead and uh, check out our sync. And it's uh, you can see the sync modul modulator right here. And we also have a table, a nice uh, cool blue color with the uh, green uh, backlit LEDs over here, or L LCDs. And we have our FM synth right here. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Awesome. Uh, so uh, just to let you know, also uh, with this new synth, you also have a whole bunch of really cool uh, sounds here that are actually just built in, uh, you know, retro synth itself. So let's go ahead and take a listen to a couple. Okay, that's our lead right there. And there's a whole bunch of different leads here. Let's go ahead and take a listen to uh, one of these pad sounds right here. Very nice, cool sounds. Let's go ahead and check out our bass over here. Let's try an analog funk. It is pretty funky. Hmm. Nice. Let's go ahead and take a look, uh, listen, and look at uh, maybe these retro strings over here. Again, really, really nice sound to it. Very clean and uh, airy sounding. I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a listen to some of these keyboards over here. How about uh, this one right here, Plectum or Plectrum keys? Liking it. Awesome. We have uh, some brass sounds right here. Let's take a listen to this mellow brass. Awesome. And let's actually go to our sequence elements. We're going to get some pretty cool sounds here. How about Gamer? Let's hear how that sounds. Awesome. Cool. So over here. And check out our last bank over here, our warp synth. How about Bounce Around? Let's take a listen to this. Very cool. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to explore the FM synth. I found a really cool sound that I want to go ahead and share uh, with you guys. Uh, a really uh, uh, interesting sound. It's this uh, crazy bass sound. It has this really cool screech. I want to go ahead and give credit to Sit Rep Official and check out his YouTube. Uh, really cool videos down over there. And this is where I found that sound. I wanted to go ahead and share with you because I thought it was really awesome. So uh, thumbs up to that guy. And uh, let's go ahead and design the sound. It's this really cool um, thick bass uh, sound that has this really cool screech to it. Really great for dubstep type of music. So let's go ahead and design the sound. Uh, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just make sure that we have uh, this low pass frequency at uh, uh, 24 decibels selected right here. In fact, actually, the first thing we should do is just uh, recall default. Kind of brings everything back to uh, a default uh, parameter right here. So that should, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and go now make sure that our LP24 dB filter is on, which it is. Cool. 
And next we're gonna go ahead and go to this section right here um, and just kind of mess around with this, switch up the parameters to get the sound we're looking for. Uh, we're gonna go to our FM slider and go to 0.566. So that's gonna be right here. I'm gonna move this to 0.566, not very high up. There we are. We're gonna turn our harmonic all the way up, our inharmonic all the way down, shape all the way up, our uh, mix uh, to our modulator. So this is gonna be carrier and this is gonna be our modulator. We're gonna go ahead and put this at 76. Very nice. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and turn our vibrato all the way down. We're gonna turn our modulator over here, our modulation to 0.172. And these, uh, you know, these dials are really sensitive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. That should be fine enough. Next, I'm gonna go back to this filter section and uh, go to the low pass filter, okay? And actually, first I'm gonna go ahead and switch this all the way up. I'm gonna switch this so that it's just straight right here. Now I'm gonna go to the filter FM. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this to 0.44. Point four six, almost there. Point four five. Here we are. Point four four. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move our LFO to point six one. Awesome. Our envelope all the way to one. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure our sign levels all the way down over here. That should be fine down there, and our volume could stay the same. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the flanger or effects section is off. So um, this would be on, this is off, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and go and uh, play around with our oscillator a little bit down here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, one, and move it to auto bend. Now I got time and depth. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the depth all the way down to negative uh, uh, 63 semitones. And I'm gonna move this up to uh, 23 seconds. There we are. And uh, let's go ahead and see. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get this LFO, uh, keep it at a downward slope, turn it on. Go to my vibrato, uh, turn this to a downward slope. Okay, now that looks fine. And uh, from here, we pretty much have the sound that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. Awesome, so there's a, a bunch of really great sounds that you could actually make with the retro synth. So don't forget to experiment and have fun, of course. Now, in the next video, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna look at how to create track stacks. So I'll catch you guys on that video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.